calm down cause he just wanna learn son so I teach him son I am the one that teach Call me 10 10 wins in 20 Okay, so when you pick up solid objects that were on the floor and release them, they don't always go down, Nathan? Well, when I take them out of equilibrium, will they return from whence they came? Yeah, equally, if I pull a balloon off the ceiling, it will go up. So not universally down, Nathan. You're still yet to concede this point. Just, just relax, Nathan. Well, okay. well, when I'm dealing with okay, somebody so that doesn't want to concede that they are incorrect, that we do not have a law of nature comparison here, it's not always yeah. down, Nathan. You just we, yet to we concede haven't that. Gotten to the crux of the argument, Nathan. That is so the argument. The argument is: is there a universal down, down, Nathan? That's the argument. Very mm -hmm. simple. No, there isn't. With solids. With solids. So than... not universal then. So not rumpus. universal then, Nathan. Are you dumb? Are you rumpusing? Oh, now we're gonna. Are you dumb? Not universal then, only applicable to solids. So absolutely unequivocally not universal then. Not a law of nature, not universally down. How simplistic do you want me to put it? The argument is, is there a universal down? The answer is no. But not I'm, even um, then, because you can drop trick. a solid uh, from the bottom <laughs> of a pool and it'll go up too, so. Well, just to clarify, it's like the elastic velocity or elastic energy of gas is way 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 stronger than electrostatics it's just my point here at least i can only speak for me right my point is the electrostatics is always at play uh, because everything that has any matter is electrostatic and the earth is also electrostatic and actually I negative and that's why we have lightning etc cetera, etc cetera. so you can't just say it's not part of the equation that would be dishonest but at the same time almost impossible to validate you don't can't get outside Sorry, of here, what so. is this why are you on about why is this electrostatic non sequitur the fact that we have to constantly look at this stuff to experience it or describe it or have pens to write it down is totally non sequitur well do you know it's just that well the earth's negatively charged and anything that falls to the earth is electrostatic well, like a balloon yeah the yeah, balloon less does that fall to the ground wits it no of course well then shut up you dumb fuck <laughs> I mean, there's not a natural bias, though. A bias? What, for the balloon? How many times do you want to do this? Are you all morons? <laughs> uh, at mom. At the... Sorry, are you a moron? Is the balloon going down, Witsit? Yes, we are. Is the balloon uh, biased downwards? Is it, are you serious, bro? That's how you're gonna Shut up, Nathan. I'm talking to Witsit. Well, that's the, well, what I'm saying is, you, you see, the bias is so incredibly weak that the... So it's not a bias down! What bias? The downward one, the balloon's not experiencing. Third time, wits it. Yeah, they're right. The gas isn't going to go down. Gas. So there is not a downward bias! <laughs> well, you would- No, not well! There's no downward bias, you clown! You've just admitted it! Why are you in cognitive dissonance over this, wits it? <laughs> Your hand wave dismissing the electrostatics, dude. Uh, well, the non sequitur fallacy you introduced that I immediately demolished as a non sequitur fallacy. Wait, how's it non sequitur? I thought that was the whole So the balloon argument, goes like, down! Argument. Sorry, the electrostatics make the balloon go down, or is this non sequitur? The electrostatics are way weaker, right? Are so they making the balloon go down? Are you deaf? No, the balloon. The so non sequitur then! Nathan, you're going to give yourself an answer. Nathan, shut up. I'm not going to ask you again. I'm going to absolutely <laughs> teabag wits it for his dumb fuckery. So this electrostatic is not giving the balloon a downward bias, is it? Uh, no. No! That's right, wits it, you clown. So what are you babbling about? Because once again, the uh, you, you just whistle past this. You just stutter for me like the rest of the fundies with their belief in gravity. There is not a downward bias, clown. Okay, but yeah. Okay! Now enjoy the taste of my nuts, you flat earth fundy! There's no downward bias! Dismiss it, your hand. Dismiss what? The electrostatics that make the balloon go down? You're gonna do it third time in a row, you circle jerking fundy? Claimed it made it go down. It doesn't go down, you idiot! Are you thick? One claimed it did, that's a strong. Oh, right, I'm claiming a downward bias of the balloon and no one's claiming it, you are. You're stuttering, double speaking, cognitive dissonance laden, fundy. If matters inherent, every compilation of matters inherently electrostatic. This and that's got anything to do with a balloon going down? Fourth time circle jerking this shit in a row. I never said the balloon went down. It doesn't go down. Are you dumb? It does, dude.
Oh, it does. Oh, balloons go down, go boom. With a single vector of downward, do they? Uh. No, the balloon. No, that's right, you unbelievable buffoon. They do not have a bias down, regardless of your non sequitur shy about electrostatic non forces. Hello, not going down, not bias down. Are you getting this? I'm getting your whistling past my argument. You're not even addressing it. You're pretending. What, the non sequitur of electrostatic forces that you assert that have a influence on the downward bias we don't see in the balloon non sequitur you clown equilibrium that sat is inherently electrostatic this is objective oh and the equilibrium for the balloon is down like your bias no 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 it's not no 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 that's the taste of my nuts are you dumb no 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 not downward bias mate Anthony, I suggest okay, okay, this is the I thing, man. How fast gas moves, moves is stronger than electrostatics, but it's not gone. It isn't effectively not there. You're just oh, so there's a bias. So gases don't expand equally in all directions. Then you're an entropy denier. No, no, no. entropy is way stronger than electrostatics. Sorry, you said there's a bias. So do we have more gas going down than going up, or is it equally expanding in all directions? Entropy denier. Yeah, gas isn't affected. Its directionality isn't. Sorry, isn't affected. So not the bias. Not affected. So no bias. You utter fool. Unaffected means there isn't a bias, idiot. Can we just have a conversation? Well, it would tell Nathan, affected, I'm going to remove you. You're white knighting for the fundies so... who believe in gravity on the flat Earth side. Now you can shut up. Our... Everyone in G plus can do the same. I will teabag Wits it the clown who seems to have just denied that there is any effect on grass, uh, uh, grass, on gas. So no bias then, Wits it. Well, you're straw manning again. I never. Uh, not a straw man. So you've just declared quite openly and boldly there is no bias in gas. This is why y'all wouldn't debate me, because y'all can't argue- uh, Sorry, that would be a rumpus technique, so deflection. So there is no bias then? You've just disclaimed that, you fool! No, you're not even addressing my argument, Nathan. Your argument is that there's an overriding electrostatic force that means it doesn't, quote, all go away. That would imply that there is also a bias in gas that expands equally in all directions. I asked you if it expands equally in all directions. You confirmed there is no effect on it. Therefore, no bias. Not a straw man clown show. Okay, let me give you an example. If I have a bias in a race because I have five feet on the person... What about a gas? You deflecting little fundy shit. What about a gas, moron? That's my example. Okay, well, if you're not understanding the analogy, I don't know. The analogy isn't an analogy when my example is with gas and you're now using men running. That's idiotic, childish, non sequitur, false comparison. You want to call me out for a straw man I haven't used? I'll berate you for your non sequitur nonsense. No, I won't compare gas that expands without any bias downwards to a man running, you idiotic child. Yeah, well, what I was explaining is just because there's a bias doesn't mean it won't get... A what bias? Tell me about the bias in the gas, clown. Collision rate of the gas. Tell bias. me about the bias down in the gas. Is the gas electrostatic? Has it got a bias downwards? Well, yes, a natural... Oh, yes. So gas is pooling, then. We've got gas moving more down than up, then. You are an entropy denier, it's it. Oh, you're sure... Dude, do you not... I'm, this is why I... You're an entropy denier, you utter clown stuttering moron. So you think gas has got an extra downward vector when it expands in all directions, you entropy did I clown? I never said that, Nathan. I oh, you just told us it had got a downward bias, you a moron. Now you're lying about what you claim. What I'm saying is... Is that it's got a downward bias and it hasn't. I know what you're saying. When I point it out, you claim straw men. No, mate. You're getting annihilated because you believe in a downward bias that doesn't exist. Oh, electrostatics exist. Oh, really? So they're making gas go down by boom, boom, like bouncy balls, mate? Can you offer one example of matter that isn't electrostatic, dude? And can you example how electrostatics making the gas go down, go boom, boom, which is your argument about a downward bias? I'm not claiming that gas is going down, boom, boom. Well, they're not. So there's no downward bias. So your argument fails, you utter clown. There is no downward bias. Violated by gas. Uh, no, yeah, gas is... Yeah, no, yeah, no. 
Sounds like cognitive dissonance to me, mate. Okay, well, I, all right, I don't even, I don't know why I came on. Yeah, I know you don't know. You don't even know where you are. You're getting annihilated by someone on your own side because of your abject stupidity and belief in a downward bias. That's where you are. That's what's happening. There is no downward bias. You've admitted it yourself. Guess it expands equally in all directions. There's no bias. But yet you tell us it doesn't all go away. That's simultaneously holding two points of view at the same time. A.K.A. Cognitive Dissonance. You unbelievable clown. Okay, I bet you can't answer this question now. So, uh, so maybe change the subject. So the gas hasn't got a downward vector, and you want to ask me a new question like a fundy trying to obfuscate from their annihilation? Yeah, what a typical play. No, mate. No downward bias. I'd like a concession from you. Let's see how much humility you've got. N no, I, I don't have a Dude, I never said gas went down, so I don't have... Oh, so it doesn't have a downward vector bias then. So you're conceding your point that Bob's trained you with. I'm conceding that everything- I knew this before, Bob, dude. Everything that falls to the ground is incoherent. Uh, like gas! Everything that falls to the ground like gas, you are to moron, circle jerking fundy, five times! Th that's why you'll cut me off again, Nathan. You can't answer this question. If there's a downward bias, could something- uh, Bias for gas? Is there a downward bias for gas? Or are you just going to ask me something that assumes one? See? If there's a downward vector, it's your begging the question fallacy. Don't you get it, moron? No. Uh, if there's a downward vector, it's your assumption of the outcome you're trying to prove. That's called begging the question. You're useless. And lightning goes to the ground. So you're just going to talk through me, you fundy asshole. If there is a downward bias, it's your assertion of the thing you're trying to prove. Okay, but I'm not... Not okay! A logical fallacy, child. Okay, you just think not okay, child. A logical fallacy. You are assuming the thing you're trying to prove when you say if there's a downward force, there isn't, because gas doesn't have one, does it? Assuming anything. Oh, you're assuming gas go down, go boom, boom, my friend. Is he hurt? Electrostatic? Uh, sorry, electrostatic non sequiturs making gas go down, go boom, boom. Now is it? You keep saying non sequitur, but you're... Uh, so gas is going down, go boom, boom, or is this non sequitur? Sequitur. Yeah, it's non sequitur if gas is not going down, go boom, boom. Is gas going down, go boom, boom? And no one claims that gas goes down, go boom, boom. You do. You claim there's a bias downwards, you stupid shit. That's your claim you're here to defend, you unbelievable moron. So like Tim Osman telling us no one claims the horizon's earth curve, you're telling us no one claims there's a downward vector, yeah, welcome to our side of the argument, you utter idiot. No, no one claims it, right? So Bob doesn't claim it then. And then you add salt to So it, Bob and doesn't claim it then. All... Yo, what's it? You're getting teabagged. So no one claims a downward vector then. Alright, just let the record show and reflect. But no one claims a downward vector as declared by Witsit gets it even though he's been indoctrinated to believe that there is a downward vector, that he assumes when he says, if there's a downward vector! I was just making a point you're being dishonest. You have a very Oh, right, now it's called me a liar, you scumbag shithead. How dare you? How dare you call me a liar? No, you've conceded there's no downward vector to gas, but your argument here is that there's an exclusively downward vector! You utter moron, you've even annihilated your own argument by saying that nobody's claiming it! Oh, run away. Legged it. Good. That was the absolute annihilation of wits it gets it with his unbelievable horseshit nonsense that we've got an exclusively downward vector. At the end of his argument, he declared nobody's claiming that. Very Tim Osman-esque, considering that's the very point he's here to defend. And that's the reason why there's no conversation unless it's with Bob, because now Bob will just go, ah, wits it got battered. He can just distance himself from that and carry on preaching that there's a downward vector, and there isn't. And he claimed that lightning only comes down, but lightning has I mean, has gone from the ground up too. Yeah, lightning goes both ways. Uh, as exactly. does gas. No exclusivity to downwards with gas. He even admits it. Whilst saying, well, the down bit doesn't just go away. What about with gas? Well, it's unaffected. So it just goes away then. He's in cognitive dissonance, holding two positions simultaneously. The downward vector, I assume, if I'm begging the question fallacy, doesn't just go away. What about gas? Well, it's not affected. So it goes away then. Not exclusively down. Not a law of nature. How dare you call me a liar, Witsy? I lost all respect for you here. You stupid child. My descriptions weren't ad homs, they were factually accurate. How dare you call me a liar when I annihilate your fundy belief?
You know better than the ballers, Witsit. I've lost all respect for you. Highly uncomfortable delivery, but I can't say you weren't accurate. If you come here with fundy belief, I don't care if you're wearing a flat earth hat, I will destroy you. Yeah, come here with your belief in a downward vector and expect it to be raped by me for an audience. Your belief got annihilated here. If you don't like it, Witsy, you can call me a liar at the end like a scumbag fundy does. All it'll do is demolish all respect anybody in this corner of the internet had for you. Because you didn't win, you came and punted your belief. And at one stage, you even demanded I beg the question with you. If there's a downward vector, you pathetic fallacy using moron. That's a fact, not an ad hom, based on your performance here. Yet you call me a liar at the end. What an absolute disgusting outrage. No better than a baller. Just before you round it out, my offer is still there to Bob, and only Bob. I'm quite happy to do this, Bob. I am not hiding from you, but you do hide behind your minions. So let's do it, Bob. Let me know when you can do it through John at Quantum Eraser Show.